Hi all, welcome on Travels and Code channel. Today I will show you my top 17 online resources for online learning. So let's start. The first one is Udacity. Udacity is a great resource for IT developers because it built it and contributed by top companies in the world such as Google, AT&T, IBM and another. You can find a lot of interesting courses here. Some of them are free, some of them are paid. The second one is Coursera. Coursera is one of my favorite because here are a lot of uh, different courses from different universities and different companies. Here I used it for preparation for my uh, Google Cloud certification and um, some of them are paid also but uh, some of them are free. And uh, after finishing you can get um, some certificate which you can add to your LinkedIn. The third one is Code Academy. I don't use it often, but anyway, here is a lot of different um, subjects you can learn for different languages, such as uh, Python, JavaScript. It's more related to different programming languages. Number four, it's uh, Code School, or at least it it was Code School. Now it's Pluralsight. I, I don't use it often, but anyway, it's a great place where you can find different courses for JavaScript, for Angular, for example, and um, Python at least. Number five, Code Avengers. Code Avengers resource is created for people who are afraid to code and afraid to develop it because they, they think that it's very boring and uh, it's very difficult. Each course is created specifically for um, for juniors and uh, it makes um, the process of learning more interesting and entertaining. Number five. Number five, ICAD.io, one of the best resources for um, learning different topics, top topics in uh, video format. Uh, I use it pretty often. There are a lot of different videos, different topics, but uh, almost all of them are paid. But some of them are free, so you can choose what would you like to learn and find the most interesting courses for you. Everything is covered very well and um, has a very good animation and uh, logos. Number seven, free house. It allows you to use a free trial to test how it works, what can you find interesting here. Uh, there is uh, more than 1000 hours of content related to JavaScript, Python and iOS. After that you can buy monthly subscription with, with such prices. Number 9. It's edX. A great uh, platform from different universities. Uh, you can find the resources and the lectures from top universities of the world such as Harvard, Berkeley, Boston University different areas, not everything is related to computers and uh, software engineering, but for languages, uh, business management and the humanities. It's a great resource to people who want to learn something new, not related for software development. Here you can find more than 2500 online courses from 140 top in institution in the world. So you can uh, join it for free. You can join it for free, but if you want to get certificate, you need to uh, pay for it. Number nine, it's uh, Apple University, Apple Education. Uh, I didn't use it often or even didn't use it at all, but uh, I heard a lot of great feedbacks that uh, here you can find different resources, especially for Apple and uh, iOS. I guess it, it can be great uh, for beginners who wants to start learning something new. Okay, let's go to the next one. Udemy. Udemy is one of the top resources where you can buy different courses from a lot of different people. Anyone who wants to be a teacher can create their own course and publish it here and then you can find what you want. Uh, here is an interesting uh, approach of uh, pricing. They always uh, has price something about 10, 11 dollars, but shows that previous price was approximately 200. So never believe this price. Always buy courses with the 10, 15 dollars because it's a real price. It's how it's organized this uh, platform. It's interesting for those who wants to learn something or for those who wants to teach and get some money. Number 11, it's Prometheus, it's Ukrainian 
Ukrainian platform for courses with which with different types of courses, but it's mostly in Ukrainian language. So be careful if it's okay for you. So you can start. You can start. Uh, not everything is related to information technologies. We can find absolutely different areas from uh, different uh, people, uh, but it's still anyway it's interesting. I use it for uh, learning data science and uh, some uh, related areas. Number twelve, open to study. It was open to study, but now it's Open University Australia. As uh, you can see here, a lot of different universities from Australia and a lot of courses, subjects uh, and um, a lot of students use it. So it might be very interesting for you. I didn't use it, but um, I know that it can be used for number 13, HTML doc. HTML doc is a resource related to learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript and uh, everything related to front, front end. It's not the most interesting resource for me, but anyway, if you are a beginner in web development, you can try to use it. Number 14. HTML Academy. It's a very well-known Russian resource for learning HTML, JavaScript and CSS. Special great for developers, for beginners, and there are a lot of interesting resources you can find. If you want to learn something related to HTML beginners, I guess you, can, you will find everything what you need here. Number 15. W3school.com I guess it's a very popular resource and I use it very often, especially when you Google something uh, and you need to find how it's in, implemented or how it's done something in CSS, JavaScript, React, Angular, Ajax and um, other languages or techniques. There are a lot of useful, useful information. Number 16. It's LinkedIn. LinkedIn Learning. Previously it was Linda.com resource, but uh, they merged. Uh, I guess LinkedIn bought uh, this resource and now you can find here everything. This resource I use pretty often because right now it's free for me. They have cooperation with my company and all resources, all courses are absolutely free. And uh, here a lot of different interesting subjects. Not everything is related to software engineering, but for uh, marketing, um, graphic graphic design and uh, photography. So a lot of information. I love to use it. And the last one is Khan Academy. Maybe you heard about it's a non-profit organization created specially for deliver world-class education for everyone. You can uh, be a learners or a teachers and they use it uh, to learn something new or teach something new or if you want to teach some other people in the world. It was my top 17 resources. If you have something uh, else, if you know some other great resources, so add to comments and uh, I will check maybe I will use it too. So that's it from my side. Thank you for watching.